if you've been paying attention to the very messy breakup between Nikki Madares and Molly Maldi, you know already TMZ reported and posted a video showing the aftermath of what happened and how the Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Season 2 star was at <laughs> her ex-boyfriend's mansion and she smashed like $30,000 worth of fine china, you know, and fortunately for her, she actually purchased the plates, so she ended up not going to jail or whatever. The police just made sure that she left the premises or whatever. You know, this is, of course, after Mr. Baldhead smashed her, what was it, her iPhone 6 or something like that. So she was retaliating for something stupid he did. But anyways... Here's what your boy Molly Ma with the bald head, Bolly Bald, had to say about my girl Nika Madaris on social media. He said, and I quote, Bish, blah, blah, blah. I made your ass famous. Now go enjoy the few minutes of VH1 fame. I'm sure she will suck and fuck her way up the ladder with a big old smiley crying emoji, just laughing so hard at the pretty girl. Then he went on to say, if you don't stop being such a fake bitch, I will expose your dirty pee to the world. And finally, he said, LOL, the bitch, LOL. The girlfriend days are over. I'm rolling a few deep 24-7. Damn, I can't stay out your mind, LOL. Can regret something when you already predicted the outcome. Hashtag GN, hashtag twerkers, LOL. End quote. Now, the reason why I had to read his silly little messages like that is because I thought dude was suspect since season one of Love and Pop Hollywood. Now, you know, I wasn't very familiar with who he was and whatnot because, I mean, I don't really give a shit about Molly Maul. You know, I heard some of his music, sounded whack, so I didn't really pay him too much attention. You know what I mean? It was one of those types of things where he was there, but I just didn't really care. So, yeah. But anyways, I saw my love of hip hop Hollywood season one. He totally gave me the gay vibe, or excuse me, bisexual vibe. I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying that that's the type of vibe that he gave me. And I was just like, wow, what the fuck is up with this guy? You know, I didn't really care for him. Not just because he was fruity or at least seemingly fruity, excuse me, but because he just rubbed me the wrong way. He just is kind of grimy and creepy you know what i'm saying like he just wasn't somebody that i was checking for i wasn't watching the show for him i was just like uh, uh. you know like the show can do without him he wasn't really an important part of the show didn't like his attitude and then the fact that i could just smell semen coming from his breath oozing out of my television just going all in my nostrils i was like uh yeah you know i i, I just I, I can't with this guy you know at one time I could have sworn I saw a little bit of cum crust dried up in the corner of his lip. But, hey, that's that's just me. That's just what I, I thought I saw. Maybe that's not what I saw. Anyways, Nikki Bindaris deserves better. She's the bomb.com. Molly Ma is whack. That's all I'm saying. No shade, just how I feel about it. You know, not trying to be a hater. <laughs> I guess, you know, he's supposed to be a winner because he has money. As if there's no such thing as a loser with money. Like Bill Cosby. Another loser with money. Well, this is all my opinion. Not that I'm comparing Molly Ma to Bill Cosby. Anyways, let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. And for the record, you see how this clown tried to brag that he has multiple women now? Like, dude, so fucking what? You have money. Of course you can buy, excuse me, have, afford to have multiple women around. You're buying women's attention whether you want to realize it or not. None of these women give a fuck about you, Molly Ma. You bald-headed and whack. You just a bald-headed bitch. But this is all my opinion. <gasps> Meat Magazine.